with Stampers, Deb Valder here, your fun Stampers journey coach, and today I'm going to show you how to do a finger bow to make any card that you have just look absolutely adorable. And this is one of them that I'm talking about. This is a triple bow, and instead of using a fork like I usually do, I am going to show you how to do a uh, a bow using only your fingers because you always have your hand with you and you can just make a bow wherever you go. In my old days, I used to just wrap it around um, a, a, a fork and I do have a lot of videos on this one. If you'd rather use the fork, then just um, slide it through, top it up and you're good to go. But I'm going to show you how to do the same method with your fingers. Okay, I'm just using the Fun Stampers Journey Black Gingham Ribbon and um, let's just get started. You can pre-cut your ribbon, but why do that and waste a lot of it? So I'm just going to take and I'm going to um, leave it on the spool and then cut it as I need to. So I'm going to bring in my Grand Pro shears because I do use those um, they're just the sharpest, um, and I mean sharp, not cool like sharp, but the sharpest scissors I have. Enjoy the journey. These are just um, non-stick scissors. I love them. All right, so I'm going to bring those in and uh, use those at the end. All right, so you can stop and start this video as many times as you want, but once you get the hang of it, it is so very, very easy. I'm going to take these two fingers, and I'm going to use those as my pinchers. I'm going to leave a little bit of a tail back here so that at the very end, you have some little tail pieces right here, and you can um, trim them off as much as you want. All right, so then you're going to use this finger and this finger, the two that are around the pinchers, okay? And depending on how wide you make these, okay, depending on how wide you make these two fingers is how big or small your bow is. I'm going to make a small bow, so I'm just going to take and put my fingers closer together. I'm going to start by going, I'm going to do figure eights. I'm going to start by going over this one and around that one. So over this finger and around this one, here's my figure eight. That's the first loop. I can take and I can tie it off and I'd have just one bow. But why do that? Let's make it fancy. We're going to go and we're going to go. So I went, let's do that again. I went over this finger and then around this one. Now I'm making the figure eight. I'm going to go around this one. This is the second pass, so this is a double bow, all right? And I'm going to do it one more time, ending up over here like this, okay? So now when I wrap this around, I have um, three up here and three at the bottom. I'm going to cut off a fairly large piece at the end here so I have enough to wrap. So I'm going to take this. I'm going to bring it, that was my last loop, okay, so now I have three here, let's do that again, okay, because it's really easy and a lot of, fa it's really fast, all right, so I'm going to go around and around, making my figure eights, that's two, that's three, okay, and we need to finish off the third one, all right, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this and I'm going to go through that little hole right there and bring it to I'm making a small bow, that's why it's a little bit harder, okay? So I'm going to take that, there's a little tiny V right in there, you're going to go right through there, you're going to take and you're going to, you're going to pull it like this, all right? Now, you don't want to go, di to go in and down, because if you do that, you're not going to catch all your pieces. You're going to take and you're going to go in and up, all right? So just take and pull that as tight as you can, but you want to pull it toward the other string, all right? And when you do that, you want to make sure checking it on that side to make sure that it's nice and tight, okay? And then you're just going to slide it off your fingers just as if you were doing a fork bow and fluff. Isn't that so cute? And now there's the front of it. See, I wanted to make a little tiny one. If I wanted to make a bigger one, and probably when you first start it, you should do a bigger one just so that you can see that little V when you're sticking it in there. So you're going to go in that little V, you're going to wrap it around, and then slide it up through there, and you're done. All right? So watch out my continuing ed classes because no more fork bow. We're going to all sit there and do our little finger bows because everybody has a finger or two, right? All righty. So here we go and fluff, and there is our little bow. Isn't that adorable? All right, wind, rewind, and do it again. Once you get the hang of it, you will do this forever. You guys take care, have a great day, and stop back soon. Remember to subscribe to my blog and my YouTube videos. Okay, take care.